What's up guys, I'm back with a new video. This time I'll talk about Vault. It's a new library that I've created myself. And in this video we will discuss why Vault is here, where, what's the difference between Prime View and Vault. And Vault is my actually final big con uh, contribution to Vue ecosystem. I will now move on to Prime NG and Prime Rack uh, because they also need a lot of attention. So uh, I decided to do one big contribution to the Vue ecosystem and then I'll just move on to my other projects. So of course our team will maintain and improve Vault and Prime View and periodically with new updates. So Vault is a new library. It's based on Prime View. So it's it is still Prime View, but it uses unstyled Prime View and it uses Tailwind CSS version 4. So Prime View Core is styled with design tokens. So to change the look and feel of a, um, let's say, checkbox, you have to go to the theming. You need to know about the design tokens. So instead of overriding styles, which we all hate when using a third party library, right? Uh, we provided these design tokens, so you don't need to worry about CSS overrides, the CSS precedence, everything. You just design, define your custom tokens and they will handle the job. And you can even use it with our, let's say, designer. And let's check out component. For example, you can even change it with primary semantic and component tokens. There's a lot of videos about it and documentation. And there's a Figma integration as well. If you're working with a UI UX designer, um, there's some automated tool from convert all these to uh, code. So what I've described so far is maybe sound too tactical. If you don't need all this stuff, if you like to have full control, because design tokens with the ability to provide custom tokens will give you a lot of power, but it's not still full control. It's just, uh, you know, uh, all the essentials. In case you'd like to, if, if, you, if you're a fan of Tailwind as well, if you, if you need full control over the components styling, uh, if you like, if you are fine with maintaining or, your own library, because Vault is um, they are they live inside your code base, unlike Prime. Prime is imported from node modules. Vault components live in your code base, so it's an entirely different developer experience. You might see this code ownership model from other libraries as well. I was a bit skeptical about it because the point of using a third-party library is that you don't maintain it. And then all of a sudden, these trends of these new age next generation libraries come out and they say, OK, you have to keep the components in your code base. I was a bit skeptical, but I understand the benefits, but still I'm a bit skeptical. But there are people uh, who prefer that. Vault is for that audience. If you are fine with maintaining your own code, your li uh, component libraries, that's fine. Vault will do it. So let's discuss Vault. Uh, it contains around 52. The, I've created 52 components, essentials like data tables, dialogues, many components, uh, form elements. And we have uh, some sample landing page, the features, 50 plus components. So it is. it has a smaller scope than Prime View and it, it will always have this. So you may not expect the full Prime View components, the whole set, to be in Vault because it, this scope is uh, a bit smaller compared to Prime View. Although more components will be added and more features, it it's based on unstyled Prime View. You know we have tried the global pass through, I kind of failed. We have tried Tailwind.PrimeView.org, kind of failed because it was using Apply, which the community didn't pick it pick it up. Some users. Uh, like that, but um, if you compare to uh, the regular Tailwind um, suggestions, the best practices, Apply is not there at the top, right? People like Tailwind utilities mostly. And it's based on Tailwind v4 uh, using our plugin, Tailwind CSS Prime View, and it is accessible thanks to Prime View. As I mentioned, it is still Prime View. So let's check out the components. This is the main architecture. Um, the prime view is still needed. It is still in node modules. A vault component like select are basically wrappers. They wrap the actual prime view component and they set it to unstyled. So 
it removes all the style classes, the design tokens, nada. In that case, you still need to use a um, library to style it. In that case, Tailwind CSS comes in. I picked Tailwind CSS because it's popular. I'm not the super fan of Tailwind, but you know, it's popular. So let's, let's use it, why not? And um, I have a you know, white monitor as well, so I can write Tailwind classes. Um, so it applies the Tailwind utilities to the pass-through um, using the pass-through properties. So, you know, prime view components have a certain DOM structure. It's not headless, it's on -style. Headless is something different. People usually confuse it with headless. Headless is something else. Uh, prime view is, has on -style features, but for example, prime rack 11 is totally headless. It will be totally headless. It's currently under construction. So, and in this case, uh, Tailwind TSS utilities are injected to the components using password properties, and then these components live in your code base. So, let's check out one component. Um, let's see, input text or checkbox. Um, okay, in the checkbox, this uh, we've implemented Aura, only one, because um, the idea is that you take this and you customize it. You you may use it to build your own library. Maybe you are you work in a corporate. You have been tasked with uh, creating your own corporate design, or you're a solo developer that would like to change a lot of things. You are fine with Aura. Maybe you if you are if you are, for example, if you are fine with Aura, maybe you won't need Vault because uh, you can easily do some fine tuning between design tokens. Vault is really helpful if you have a lot of customizations planned and you know Tailwind, you're comfortable with it and you don't really care about learning a new API like the design tokens. Okay, now it's unlike NPM, we install it from NPX. Of course, the installation requires initially, if you check out the documentation, we still need to use Prime View. But if you go to the checkbox, you need to use NPX Vault View at checkbox um, and it will retrieve this checkbox view code from github and it will put it in your repository and then you will be able to import it and then start using it just like a regular component and let's check out this component here the code is here as well so it's if you notice this part it is still prime view it loads prime view from uh, prime view checkbox it sets it unstyled, it uses PT, which is your theme. Theme is basically key and value pair of your Tailwind classes. The root gets these classes, the input field, which is for accessibility, gets this. The box of the checkbox gets some flags, text, colors, and the icon has this text, EM, and utilities. And the PT options merge props means that it, it is integrated with TV, TW merge. Uh, which is quite handy if you like to customize a certain checkbox then you will be able to use pt merge which will provide a built-in utility for it and in this case the common question we get is how can we customize icons and things so i have usually used this templating features exposed to icons and buttons everything using templating for example the dialogue is a nice example this is actually a button so if you check out the code i have place the template close button and place the secondary button here so that, that it kind of gives you a hint on how this is structured because it gives you more customization i mean of course this can be done with prime view the templating but the vault's idea is that it's it's uh, the main goal is customization so you can easily change the close button of the dialog you can replace it with your own button your your image and so on Majority of the things of the prime view is kind of exposed here so that you, you can just take it in from here. And I mean, the vault cannot be done without view. We can pass. I will. I really love like view because uh, I will be able to do this with, you know, passing all the templates of the vault components to the prime view components. Um, view supports fall through attributes so that uh, all the attributes of the dialog, I, I just created the wrapper interface with TypeScript and I just moved them to there. 
so that we get caught in telesense in VS Code or your favorite ID as well. So it's quite nice. And let's check out the customization. Be before that, um, let's go to the overview, continue from overview. It's based on unstyled view, powered by pass-through, coupled with Tailwind CSS. It is our third and final attempt, hopefully, on how to get the prime view, um, how to show the true potential of unstyled prime view so that you can build another library on built on top of prime view. And if you check out the comparison, prime view lives in node modules, vault lives in your application code base, prime view styled with prime view themes package and design tokens, vault is styled with tailwind, prime view is downloaded from npm, vault is downloaded from github. Uh, there are 90 components, 90 plus, vault has 50 plus, but there, of course there will be more. And here's a nice example of uh, vault customization. Um, without worrying about design tokens, this is the default one. I created two more select components, which uh, has also the ability to customize customizable transitions, which Prime View doesn't really support really well, but in a vault case, it's quite easy. So, and there's another one here. If we check out the code, compact and fancy. Uh, entirely different classes. Here we have the transition. You can see that I have applied different transitions so that I can easily customize it. So if you're comfortable with Tailwind, you can check these examples as well. And TV Merge is quite handy. All of the world is based on community feedback. Um, so the, the one major pain was uh, since we apply these Tailwind classes here, um, if the if the consumer of the this component adds some customizations with the class, so it gives you additional classes. Uh, some may work, some may not. So we have applied um, TV merged internally. Um, now, if you pass it with the PT declarative syntax, they are merged. So, for example, this one fails, but PT prefix has intelligent TV TW merge and it will just work like this. So let's customize the component and wrap this up. And let's go to, for example, the dialog. For example, or maybe the input text for simplicity. Okay, let me search for input text vault. So if you go to the vault, this is the vault application. There's a separate folder vault. This will be the same case in your application. All the components will be here, the ones you've downloaded. The nice thing about, another nice thing about is that for Nux users, there's no need for Nux module. You just import it and you use them. There's nothing that Nux module solves here. or just It just works. There's no need. For example, let's check out uh, input text. So this component lives in your application. So I can maybe just, uh, one improvement can be here that maybe we can extend uh, the Tailwind in IntelliSense plugin to, so that when you hit control space, command space, you get some IntelliSense. That would be nice. Uh, if Something to contribute if you like. And let's improve or change the um, this one. Now they are bigger. For example, let's uh, border, border two, bigger borders. Background can be blue, fifty something, and it will go as and on. For example, the focus outline. It's internal, so maybe we can just um, improve. Where is that enabled? The durations and focus outline. Borders. Ah, yeah, focus. Border primary, we can just say it border mm, blue 500. You can change it. You can just focus outlines and things. Let's try to customize another component like date picker. For example, this one. And we can improve the paddings. Well, it's it's a bigger component. But you notice that 
uh, we can easily customize the icons. For example, let's change the left and right. Uh, next button, we can, instead of chair on left, we can maybe uh, arrow left, arrow right. You can use an icon, your favorite icon set. Arrow left, arrow right. What's missing? Arrow right. Oh, we don't have it. Angle right. Angle left. Yeah, I mean, this is quite similar to the arrow, uh, sorry, the chevron, but it's a bit smaller. Um, you can, for example, use calendar icon here as well, if you like to do different things. Uh, icons are fully customizable, as I mentioned, and let's check out the dialog. So here you would like to customize, let's say, the close button. There's no design tokens, no tailwinds. That's also templating, so you can change it with maybe a regular button. Here do we have a button. We can just import view uh, vault button. And let's say outlined. Yeah, you now get an outlined button. Um, the all the you know dark modes and everything still works with this one as well. The same thing. And uh, for example, let's change the color of messages. For example, message view. I've created custom tailwinds. Uh, I just look for alternatives. Like there's a project called C CVA class variant. Something I forgot the name, but I decided to go with a custom Tailwind variants, and you need to install Tailwind CSS Prime View. Uh, not if you use the global pass through features in the past, you may notice that you may remember that there was a lot of context and props passing to your uh, pass through configuration. Now that's simplified thanks to these custom Tailwinds. So, for example, let's make the blue one uh, violet. The info message should be, let's say, violet severities. Where's the info message? In dark mode, light mode. Yeah, this is, but you, you probably you are not able to see the 500. Yeah. Of course, if you spend more time on coloring, you will be able to customize everything from paddings. You have, as I mentioned, full control over styling. So. I hope I managed to justify the need for Vault. Uh, it's a d different developer experience, entirely different developer experience in terms of styling. The components live in your code and you have full control over styling. It has more than 50 plus components. I think it's more than enough. It's quite the essential set, but we will keep improving it for future versions as well. And I think that's it for me. Hope you liked Vault and whether it's Prime View or Vault, uh, I think both are nice choices depending on requirements. There is no good or bad. So it all depends on your requirements. Thank you and see you on the next video.